Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a system of equations. So z bar is the conjugate of z and we are given two equations z times z bar is equal to 5 and z plus z bar is equal to 2. Now you might be asking how is that possible you are dealing with complex numbers but we don't see any imaginary parts. That's what happens with conjugates. If you multiply two conjugates, you get a real number. If you add them, you get a real number. So, how do we solve this problem? I'll be introducing, I think, at least two methods. Let's start with the first one. For my first method, even though it looks a little bit painful, I think for generalities or for general method, it's good. It's good to know these things. So, since z is a complex number, I'm going to call it a plus bi. Does that look fami familiar? Okay. So what is z bar if z is equal to a plus bi? z bar is the conjugate, which is a minus bi. Okay? So let's go ahead and plug it in into the first equation, a plus bi multiplied by a minus bi. And remember, when you multiply two conjugates, you get a squared plus b squared, which is a sum of two squares, not a difference, a sum of two squares. So that's 5. What happens if you add two conjugates? Well, the imaginary parts cancel out, leaving us with 2a. And in this case, it's equal to 2. Awesome. That was easy. Now, from here, we get a equals 1. Remember, a is a real number. So a equals 1. But we also know that a squared plus b squared is equal to 5. So 1 plus b squared is 5, which means b squared is equal to 4, which means b can be plus or minus 2. Okay? And some people are a little confused about this, why I make the plus sign, plus minus sign that way. That's how I usually make it. Uh, I get used to writing it that way. So this tells us the following. Since Z is made up of A and B, I, there are two solutions. Because 1, 2 and 1, negative 2. This gives us Z equals 1 plus 2I. This gives us Z equals 1 minus 2i. Do you think both equations satisfy the system? You can plug it in and you'll realize, yes, they do. Okay, easy to check. Very easy to check. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at another method. Let's call it second method. Okay, again, I have z times z bar equals 5 and z plus z bar equals 2. Now, regardless of what z bar means, think about it. We are given the product of two numbers, and we know their sum is 2. What does that tell you? Substitution, maybe? Yeah, we can do that. For example, from the second equation, we can replace z bar with 2 minus z, and that can be plugged in here. That gives us what? z times z, I mean 2 minus z equals 5, and that's 2z, or not 2z, minus z squared equals 5, and that is z squared minus 2z plus 5 equals 0. Wait a minute, are we solving for z or z prime? Well, kind of both. Because if z satisfies this equation, z bar, did I say prime? z bar will also satisfy. I think we recently did a video, remember? It was uh, a real coefficient quadratic equation or a quadratic equation with real coefficients, then the roots have to be conjugates. Make sense? So by solving this equation, you get the, uh, the answer. So from the quadratic formula, this is going to be negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 4, minus 4ac, which is 20. That's going to be a negative 16. And the square root of negative 16 is going to be plus minus 4i. So it's going to look like this. And once you divide by 2, you're going to get z sub 1 equals 2, not 2, 1 plus 2i, and z sub 2 is going to be 1 minus 2i. So they are conjugates. Which one is z, which one is z bar? Doesn't matter. Whatever you like. We're solving for z, by the way, not z bar, because once you find the z values, z bar is easy to find. So those are the solutions. We were solving for z, right? Okay, great. That is the second method, but there's a 2b. It's not 2b or not 2b. There is a second branch of the uh, second solution. 
So let's go back to square one on second solution. Z times Z bar is five and Z plus Z bar is two. Now this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of a quadratic equation whose solutions are Z and Z bar and Vieta's formulas gives us that equation. If you have an equation whose solutions are Z sub one and Z sub two, if this is the solution set, then you can write the equation as follows. Z squared minus Z1 plus Z2, Z, plus Z1 times Z2. Why? Because the sum of the roots and the product of the roots. Take a look at it. Negative B over A and C over A. Make sense? So all we have to do is plug these numbers in, and we get Z squared minus 2Z plus 5 equals 0. Exact same equation. If you solve for Z, you're going to get 1 plus 2I and 1 minus 2i. Make sense? Okay, great. So we get the same answer no matter what. Can you think of a third solution for this problem? Probably. I, I can't think of that right now, but I'm pretty sure you guys will find something. Maybe you will square the second equation and then plug in something. I don't know. You guys are better than that at, uh, compared to me. But anyway, this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.